Have you noticed that putting Gambit in your YouTube title increases views by like 20%? Yeah. <laughs> Which is, it's incentivizing me to play more tricky and maybe dubious Gambits. Okay, so format. I have to win 10 in a row. Uh, Andrea and Alexandra team up on me. Uh, it's 5-0. Uh, Blitz chess. Let's send a challenge. And, oh, and I'll be playing as many tricky, dubious, aggressive openings as possible. Whew. Things look and sound okay, I hope. Okay, challenge has been sent. Let's do this. Yeah, I highly encourage people to watch both streams. If this goes on YouTube, the link will be in the description to their side of this debacle. So much suspense. This rotating magnifying glass gives me some anxiety. Should probably avoid looking at it. Yeah, should, maybe I, should I have their stream open? People can just tell me what, what's happening if if they're having any. Oh, okay, it's starting. Um, ooh, Sicilian time. Let's play a Smith Mora. Okay, this is the first tricky aggressive gambit. I saw she plays maybe, oh, she does play g6. Let's play h4. I'm going kind of bananas here, but I want to play h5. I should have prepared this, because I knew she plays g6. I was more preparing the main line when uh, when white, or when black takes. I can take with queen. Man, I'm nervous. I don't know why I'm nervous here. Let's play bishop b5. Because every game is crucial. Like, I can't lose a single game. So the idea is to put the bishop here, put the queen here, and not blunder a pawn, but maybe sack a pawn. Every blunder is a sacrifice, if you have the right perspective on life. Okay, let's play bishop g5. Yeah, because there's, there's no knight move that defends a bishop. Okay, now I can take... Conceding the bishop pair? There's also queen a4, which is kind of interesting. Queen a4, knight d2, etc. Let's have some fun. So I keep the pawn defended. a6 isn't really a threat because the thing is pinned. Or the, the pawn would be pinned to the rook. Time is very important. Play knight d2 here. Thanks for subbing. I should probably move the box somewhere less annoying. Maybe knight here. And there's knight f3 too. I kind of want to preserve pawn f3. Yeah, and this way I have bishop f4 to hit the queen. Um, it's not a threat yet, but it's about to be a threat. Good castle. I don't think the queen's getting trapped. Okay, let's stay focused. Rook b8 may be expected. d6 is very solid. I could play bishop c4 maybe. I have a bad feeling about this position. Like already. I could take. Okay, let's take. Not the best opening, I guess. I conceded the bishop pair. I'm strengthening black center. But at least it's playable. They're debating whether to take with queen. Uh, which is probably a very fine move. I'll play queen c2. And keeping queens on the board, it's a question how black wants to develop the bishop. Some idea of knight d4. Yeah, let's split out knight d4, probably f3 coming. But yeah, they, they played the opening very well here. Black's position is very solid. And B5's coming. I could play A4, but then still B5. But maybe it makes sense. Like, takes and queen B3. Let's do it. Maybe I'll get the pawn to A5. Create some weak square. I'm down on time, man.
Okay, time is pretty level. Ah, I forgot to open my coffee. I'll open the coffee after the, the next game. Maybe. I'll play a5. The king probably wants to be here. Like, whenever the diagonals open, king's just a bit more comfor comfortable on h1. And rookie gets a fine move. Let's put the king on h1. Some idea of f5, f4. The only drawback, or f, f4, f5, only drawback is knight g4. You create a weak square. I feel like the knight is better on e3. Oh, the bishop might be nice on, on b6. Just trying to figure out like, where the pieces are happiest. Because this knight is not doing too much. Ooh, so d5 might be coming. This is not a typical like dragon type move, but it's playable. So I can't really exploit the d5 square yet, but okay, pawn d5 I can take and win a pawn. Oh, but h4 is hanging. It was very devious. I mean, I might as well kind of commit myself. Oh, c4. Oh, they're playing a very good game so far. Only slight time advantage. I want to play c5. b4 first. Idea c5, d6. Get some majestic pawns. And bishop f6 isn't quite threatening this because I take e4 could be slightly annoying. Like, black has a bishop here, so I'm scared of the position opening up. But e4 is very risky, too, for black. The diagonal opens. I still want to go for this stuff. A very bold decision. Might be a good decision. Can maybe take. It's not entirely clear what to do here, actually. Maybe just c4 immediately. C4 takes, takes. Okay, I'm making a calculated risk. So takes, I take and counterattack the bishop. There's a line, takes, takes, I hit the rook. There's no queen g3 because my queen defends g3. I think it's okay. One drawback is takes, takes, I can't play d6 because takes and the thing is pinned. My knight wouldn't be defended. But as long as I'm up on time, that could be the de determining factor. Ooh, okay, so now maybe d6. And what else to play? I cut the queen off. And my, my queen's defended, which is nice, so there's no... Okay, that's a fine move. Okay, what to do? My knight's still attacked. Let's play this and then rook d1. Bishop f6 expected. I like my pawns at least. Oh, I, did I blunder queen d6? It's complicated. Takes, 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 takes d7. I might be saved. Okay, let's pre-move that. Yeah, the pawn, the pawn promotion in the end. Well, I want to sack a queen, maybe. Could sack a queen, maybe? No, let's take here. Queen h4 shouldn't hurt me. I just want to simplify into an endgame where I can promote.
I have to avoid any perpetual too. Okay, let's take that. Oh, let's not hang upon. Okay, there's no checks. Okay, I think life is good. It's a very tense game though. Let's not plunder. Keep everything defended. Now let's start pushing the pawns. It's a cool breakthrough. I'm sacking two pawns, so you get c6. Eventually c7. Oh, they want to perpet me. But you're not perpetting me. Check. Check. Wait, let's be careful. Let's be civil. to be cognizant of time, too. Man, this king is so active. Oh, they want to get stalemated, but no stalemate. Okay, because pawns can move, and the king can move, too. Wow, that was stressful. That was only the first game. Man, they played really well, like the opening, and then the middle game, and then even, like, time-wise, we were pretty level throughout. Okay. So one down. Hey Eric, yeah. I've been missing your stream. Oh, I for missed a you too. Time. How's it going? Good to catch you stream. Man raising hand, Good. man raising hand. Thanks, man. Okay. Chameleon cold brew. And my palms are sweating, so it's Two like Two years of tea and chess. Wait, there we go. Lovely. Soon I will have the big Z rebel ha ha mm. rosen face. Oh, this is really good. Mexican coffee. Oh, thanks so much. Unlimited rice pudding. Okay, um, am I expecting a London? I don't know what I'm expecting. Ooh. Ah, this is like an anti-gambit opening. Let's play, let's play whatever this is. It's kind of like a Mexican... Wait, what is this? Can I gambit here? I don't know if I can gambit here. I could play weird chess. Let's play d6 and then maybe eventually e5. Oh, thanks for the coffee win bits. I appreciate that. Let's play h6. h6 g5. This won't be a gambit, but it'll be... It'll be dynamic and offbeat and aggressive. You can get some awesome. g5 emotes. Oh, thanks so much. Meridian matters. Okay, so I got the Fianchetto. I would imagine Andrea is like choosing the opening and playing very solidly. I'm building the Illuminati. I could castle. I could play G... Oh, let's play G4. It's in the style of... It's in the spirit of the style of this, whatever this opening is. I could take with knight, maybe, too. Hit the bishop. But probably better to develop the, the one undeveloped piece. Queen D7. Okay, so maybe I'll castle queenside. I think I've successfully kind of disturbed the London. I don't know how successful it is yet. I play rook g8. I mean, the rook is kind of obstructed by the bishops, but in the future, maybe this pawn could be a target. It's undefended. Let's play a5. Very crab-like. Now attacking the pawn. Yeah, good move. Okay, let's dance around with the knight. This knight needs to find a purpose in life. Maybe e6, knight e7. Yeah, I really thought like the fact that they're teaming up would slow them down. But they're playing really quickly. Which kind of concerns me. The other concerning thing, these pawns are menacing. C5 may be coming. I don't have so much space. But this is... This is hippo-like. Or hedgehog-like. Or maybe a combination of a hippo and a hedgehog. I play bishop f5. I'm actually not sure what else to do here. C5's probably coming. 
play rook d8. Like, we're kind of just waiting for each other to do something. Like, who will strike first? To close my tabs. Okay, tabs are closed. Okay, I'm up on time somehow. Sometimes the best strategy in Blitz is just to give your opponents, or give your opponent options. In this case, opponents. Just so they're, um, like, if they're indecisive, they'll spend more time. Okay, now I have a potential, even though it's covered. Hmm. I mean, if I can play e5, maybe d5. Play queen e7 first. It was really a game of cat and mouse and hippo. But okay, e5. e5 is now prepared. Whoa, it's money. It's 777. Love your content. Love Greetings you too. From Germany. Thanks so much. Appreciate that. c5 is a really strong move. I'm scared. Play king f8. Play e5 maybe still? I could play d5 too. d5 is kind of ugly, but... Okay, no offense to d5. This, I play this. I'm banking on the fact that I'll get knight f4 and maybe bishop f5 and life will be okay. But white's grabbing so much space here. It's like a space odyssey. Wait. Just leave the cap off. There's unexpected cinnamon in this. More coming. Mmm. I think so much. Ooh, how do you do the Okay, I have to take that. Otherwise my queen is kinda stuck. Rook takes expected. Huh. I wanna do tactics, but they don't work. Ooh, it's money. Bhagavana Hamari Madada Karam. Amen. Amen. Was that Japanese? <laughs> what language is that? Or Korean? Or Thai? Maybe it's Thai. Thanks so much. Yeah, that's a nice solid move. I always play bishop f8. Man, the position's so sad. White's actually really solid here too. That's a good move. I mean, I have to do this. This is undesirable, but I'm opening a C file. Oof. I'm actually in trouble here. Kind of. Like, really in trouble. I'm gonna have to resort to tricks, maybe? Like, I'm losing my pawns. Hedge oh, dear. Thanks for that. No, this is really bad. Okay, let's focus. First step is not to lose a queen. Second step is to create tricks. There's definitely some tricks in the position, like this and then bishop b4 is a threat. So rook c8 I think would be a blunder. Rook c7, good move. Have some check. Check, I guess there's bishop d1. Let's try this. Oh, there's definitely counterplay. But I'm gonna need to get lucky somehow. The pawn's attacked. Now a little bit of time. Oh, the rook's hanging too. Unexpected gift. I don't think I care about it though. Let's play this. 
threatening this because both pieces are pinned. This is really risky. What? Oh no. Oh, that was a really good move. Please play queen e7, please. Gambit. They see it. I'm almost mated, but I'm not quite mated. This is really intense. <sighs> queen f7, but then I can take. I can maybe take everything there? I don't know. I'm so scared. We have seven rook g7. I might survive. <sighs> I have to be careful because there's mating ideas. Oh no, I can take. Okay, this is safer. I can take and then take. Ooh. Play this move first. Check. King is running. What is this game? Hey, it's a fork. I like forks. Wow. Oh, man. Okay. Now it's White's King getting hunted. Man, they were really fast in the end there, too. What was that game? Man, these games. I have to be really careful. It was nice to hear them scream in the other tab at oh. Ha ha ha. That's fun making people scream. But I was about to scream, too. Like, it was so close to mate. There were so many different, like, checking. So many different checks. But I didn't see the mate for white. Yeah, I'm not sure if there's a clear win here. I'd imagine there is, but... Okay, rematch. <sighs> That's only two games. I feel like I just ran a marathon. Or at least, like, a sprint. Oh man, I keep forgetting to take off the cap. Thanks for subbing, everyone. Thank you, Ika, and Mordekat, and Anton Zero. I know, I know it's this stressful. Is just stressful because yeah. one game and it's over. I know, I know. It was almost over there. It's like having a near death experience. It's gonna make me appreciate the next, like just being alive in this match. I could play tricky London stuff. Um, let's play e4. I'll, I'll play London later, maybe. Um, let's play the slime. Knight c3. Okay, I'm going to play um, not quite a gambit, but it's a tricky variation. Um, oh, it's actually similar to the first game. But this, this is a better version, because there's no knight g4. The first game, black had we, we had h4, h5 included. Um, okay, so yeah, not a gambit, but kind of a tricky, aggressive opening. Uh, we'll develop... I just want to recover from <laughs> these first two games. I feel like they, they definitely played stronger as a team. Uh, what to play here? Actually, I think we're following some main line. Bishop g5 looks interesting. I'm fully developed. The knight had to undevelop. But black has a bishop pair. Arguably, I'm overextended. There's some pressure against my queen. There's some cool ideas of knight e4 to d6, because the pawn is pinned. Ooh. Pawn d6 immediately. Interesting. I could queenside castle like a boss. 
So basically, okay, controlling the D file is not of the battery, but I'm also freeing the E1 square for the rook. Let's move back. I was thinking there was some knight h6 to f5 idea, but now it's no more with a pawn here. I really want to take and exploit this pin, but the problem is this is pinned. So many pins in this position. Oh, this pawn's pinned too to the, the queen. I wonder, can I get away with this? I would lose a bishop in the end, but win some pawns. Hmm. D5, interesting move. So the, the drawback of d5 is now that there's no more there's no more pressure, at least on the center. And I have the c5 square maybe. It's 94 2. But then queen a5. Hmm. I really want to play queen a4, but then bishop d7. Maybe I can start with it, because I'm, I'm preventing queen a5, just trying to limit active play. But c5's coming. Wondering if I can get away with this, this and then this. It gets a bit weird. I could play e6 too, maybe. Oh, e6. Do I dare? It's kind of a cool... Gambit looking move. I'm going to start with rookie one. Might as well prepare the pawn push. If this, I have queen a3, probably. Yeah, like c5, queen a3, and then both pawns are attacked. And queen b6 is a respectable move. Maybe still queen a3. That way I cover b2. I'm also exerting pressure against e7. And I'm also freeing the square for the knight to come to c5 and also a4 to attack the queen. Yeah, so queen, a f queen a3 was very multi-purpose. Ooh. There's a lot of pressure against b2. And queen b4 may be coming. Yeah, I'm down on time. I thought I had, like, good opening preparation, but... And they're still playing quickly. Yeah, I have to trade queens. Not what I wanted. But knight c5. I got my outpost. So my knight defends a bishop. We might see this threatening to take and then win a piece. Yeah, very tricky. So I'll play bishop g3. Okay, positional endgame time. <laughs> Black is probably doing fine here. I guess I'll play c3. c3, b4, then a4. Yeah, here a4, and then I can take and win a pawn, and then... The knight is actually quite stable here. Unless Black plays bishop f8. Hmm... I have to deal with it if it happens. But thankfully there's no... Oh, there's a cool idea. Rook a8, knight b7 to d6. Oh, but I don't have knight, d knight b7 here. I have knight a6. If rook a8, I fork. It's risky. Oh, I'm allowing bishop a3. Bishop a3, king c2, rook b2, king d3. Whew. And then c5... Knight c7 here. There's some lines where I'm close to promoting, but I'm not sure. At least I'm up on time. Okay, bishop a3 was maybe a slight miss, but rook a7's coming. Ooh. I have rook, rook d4, but then c5. I'll play king c2. Yeah, rook b7 was actually a fine move. Because this is coming, and then I might lose both a pawns. 
my babies. Okay, maybe I win c6, so it's just a fair trade. Interesting. Let's wait for the b-file. I'm kind of inducing this. But I do have knight b8. Oh, I have a cool idea. Knight b8? But there's king c7. It might work, though. Let's try it. Knight b8 and then a6. It's a very unusual idea. But if rook a8, I have rook here. My knight is almost trapped, but not quite. I want to do this as soon as possible. Oh, my knight might get trapped. Ah! Oh no, I can defend it. I can double up. I'm just in time to double up. I think. And then rook b7 will still be a threat. <sighs> These games are so stressful. This is such a weird position. This knight. Such an MVP. Like, doing things from the b8 square. Yeah, that was an issue for, I guess, like, the king's fight for black was a bit undeveloped. So I had time to to get the pieces in play, to rescue the knight, maybe. Yeah, it's, it's very hard to stop this idea, too, like, rook b7 coming. And if knight f5, I play this, and I'll eventually win the c6 pawn and or promote the A-pawn. Okay, I, I, I don't think we're going to see like an intense time scramble, hopefully, <laughs> but you never know. Can't let my guard down. What is this move? Ooh, the bailout. Oh, but not quite bailing out. Okay. <sighs> they actually, they really diffuse the opening well. I thought like... I kind of felt like the opening was going to be a nice, like, crush, but I don't know. Maybe I missed some opportunity. I mean, some just kind of solid moves from black. And then, yeah, things got really weird around here with the whole queenside shenanigans. But yeah, no mercy. Deep breath. Let's do this. Oh, am I on their stream? Shout out to Botez Live. Hi, people. How's it going? I'm not that technologically advanced to have them in like a stream window, but I, I encourage people to just have a tab open or have squad stream, maybe. I hope. Oh, they can't hear me. Okay, that's good. But they can see my wave, right? Okay, rematch. Okay, rematch. Let them take a break if they want to. Whew. Oh, squad can't have both sounds. Ooh. But okay, probably more people will be watching in the future on YouTube, where then you can probably watch both at once, hopefully. Anyway, okay. What to play? Let's play D5. Maybe I'll play uh, a... I can't play Lucchini. I could play the opposite of Lucchini. Which is like a whatever queen's gambit. Yeah, I'm gambiting this pawn. Please take it. Duh, they're not taking it. Nice game. Are there any gambits here? I know Andrea is like actually pretty well prepared. Oh, there is a gambit. There's a cool line. Okay, let's start with this. She's gonna play ninety two. I think. Almost a full year. Hi, Eric. Glad to see you streaming. Oh, it's Brian. Welcome back, Brian. Thanks for subbing for almost a full year. Um, man, I, I want to play a gambit, but... Can I play a gambit in this line? There's an almost gambit. Let's, yeah, let's take and play bishop f5. There's a gambit line with queen b3, um, or knight d2 first, and then eventually gambiting b7. But I don't think we're going to get into it, unfortunately. But maybe. Okay, the queen can't come to b3 now because that would lose a bishop. And actually, the knight can't come to d2. So we might just have a normal game of chess. I guess. Hey, it's Strafavi. 
or strafe. I can't read. Thanks for subbing. Appreciate that. Ooh. I'm tempted to take with the bishop in 97, but I'm not sure. Uh, I could go after the pawn. Let's do it. It feels like a lot of the games I'm conceding the bishop here. Like a lot of the games, they're they're having the two bishop advantage, which hasn't been like my master strategy. But okay, I have some positional play against the pawn, which is a little bit overextended. There's no f4. The problem is I don't know if I'm threatening to take it. There's a potential pin, but maybe I can torture it some more. Rook h5. Let's do it. I'm just going to attack with everything I have. Maybe f6. f6 might be too much, though. Thanks for subbing. Ty jams. 713. Appreciate that. Yeah, this is a slightly exotic maneuver. So I, I'm, not, I'm no longer casting kingside. But I could fake castle. Or manual castle. Some... I was about to say some g5 idea, but that would blunder a rook. Let's uh, not allow the knight to come here. Ooh, c4 is a good move. Thanks for the bits, J Cheeto. Play this move. It's a pass pawn. There's knight c2. Let's do it. Looks fun. Rook d8, knight c5, maybe. Now it's in balance, because we both have like potential weaknesses. I don't think I'm going to take this pawn anytime soon. The, the pin would be too uncomfortable. Um, and then in the meantime, I'm trying to have some support for this pawn. Yeah, knight c5. Ooh, threatening d3. Potential fork. So if b4, I just ignore it and play d3. I think. Ah. Keep forgetting to take off the cap. And I don't want to leave it uncapped because then, then there's more spill potential. Hmm. So it's a question how white, white actually stops d3. <laughs> Maybe knight a1. That would be sad. Maybe queen f3 most expected. But maybe then I can take... Not sure. Even queen f3, rook f5, but then g4. Knight a1! Ah, I kind of predicted it, right? Does that make me a prophet? Can I play d3 here? Hmm. That's such a funny move. I just want to laugh at this move. But okay, let's um let's not waste time. I mean, rook f5 is neat. D3 is also kind of cool. I could play d3 and knight d4. Mm. The thing is knight b3 may be coming. That's a weird position. I think what I'll do, I'll play this move. Just stopping any of this uh, b4 move, and then I'll just try and solidify. I think this is a, a civil approach. Maybe. Yeah, because now I have a defended pass pawn. I mean, white kind of solved the problem of the, the depressing knight. So we're both kind of solid here. F4 probably coming. I'm going to try and use a B-file. Put the queen on B7. And the knight can hop around. Some A4 ideas, maybe. Ooh, G4 maybe coming. Oh no, I'm getting forked! <sighs> ah, they're not falling for it. Ah. 
What's reverse bond cloud? Reverse to laid bond cloud. Ah, I'm still getting forked. Please fork me. Please. Ah, they see my idea. If G4, I was going to force me with Rook H3. Okay. Do I have any tricks? I probably should not allow G4. Hmm. I could still... Let's still go for this. <laughs> I'm still allowing G4. So now the idea is Knight H4 threatening mate. Okay, so I, I kind of induce G4. So I'm threatening mate in one. If rook G1, I probably have to just move back. And then it's a weird position. Not sure what to make of it. That's also probably a good move. Oh, but I have... Nah, knight f3 doesn't quite work. Hmm. That's unfortunate. Knight f5 could be an idea. Ooh. Does it quite... Ah, oh, it almost works. Let's play knight f5. Whoa, it's a raid. It's a Ben Feingold raid. I think it's Ben Feingold. If you're just joining, I'm playing the Botez sisters in a match. It's an adoption match. I've won three very hard-fought, intense, sweat-inducing games. This is game four. I'm threatening made in two. Uh, let's take this. Ooh, I'm going to win a queen, I think. What's the best way to win the queen? Oh, this is... Yeah, this is the best way. Everything's falling. Thanks, Ben. I'll dedicate that win to Ben. Reading at the right time, the forks... The rook fork was real. Shout out to Ben. Was it a gambit? I don't know. It was something. So there, there is a moment, man, there is a moment in this game when I played King e7 just to show I was really hoping for g4 and then I was going to take and then say, oh no, my rook, and then do this and then it's it's mating. Um, oh, it's Karen too. Shout out to Karen. Really appreciate the raid. Hope you guys had a good stream. Okay, every game we take like a small breather, try and calm the nerves, drink some coffee, have some nice lightly sweetened Mexican coffee, have some cinnamon to it. Okay, man, not even halfway there. Okay, let's rematch. Let's do this. <sighs> have to stretch. And these games are hard, are, are hard fought. Really have to be careful not to let my guard down. Like even this game I felt like I was better and then they kind of solidified like this was a weird thing but it led to a solid position. Oh they have washroom break. Okay. Which gives me a, a stretching break or a flexing break. Ah, I should lift more. Oh, okay. Let's um, let's play d4. Mix it up. I don't know what they play against this. Maybe I'll play a black mardimer. Or ooh, I could play um, what do they call this? A bronstein, the bronstein gambit. I have zero prep, but they probably don't have any prep either. So hopefully we're on level terms. Even though I'm down a pawn. It's kind of like an alakine. If they move back, then I kick the knight around. It's also like soccer or football. Uh, let's play this move. I should, yeah, if I'm going to play this, I should at the very least be prepared for d5. Um, okay, let's play h3. I might give away the bishop pair. I mean, knight h6 expected. There's a cool idea to sack a bishop. I'm calculating knight h6, takes, takes, bishop here, bishop d7, e6, I sack a bishop, and then queen h5. Ooh, they sack a knight, what? Wait, they're counter gambiting a knight. Okay, I have to take it. What is this? Wow, I'm so bold. 
but not as bold as my coffee. Don't mess with the Mexican coffee. So I'm, I'm up a knight for a pawn. Oh no, knight for two pawns. Ah, because I want f2, and my king is kind of naked. But I have open files, but they're going to have like a nice Karo Khan position. <sighs> what to do? I can play bishop d3. The thing is, bishop d3, bishop e4, but then knight c3. Let's do it. All I want to do is trade, get an endgame, and enjoy my material advantage. Try and keep the time advantage too. God, am I losing a pawn? I forgot my d4 pawn is attacked twice, and the knight's pinned. So d4 pawn isn't even defended. But okay, if takes, I take here and I win back the pawn. And actually, if takes, 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 I win d5 as well. There's also bishop e5 ideas. So everything should be okay. Just have to stay calm. It's nice having having an extra minor piece. You can fight for more squares. It's hard for black to actually defend e4 again. Maybe f5. F5 probably not. F5 I can take. Now there's a few different candidate moves. I'm assuming there's going to be some kind of capture. Okay, that's what I like to see. Always happy with the trades. Ooh, that's a solid move. I was looking forward to winning a pawn. Okay, so there's two attackers. I probably have to take. There's also there's bishop b5. You can take. Now I can put my king on g2. Hopefully. Oh, e5's hanging. What? Oh, because I took. I forgot e5 was hanging. So, black has three pawns for the piece now. Okay, but it's still, it should still be okay. Hopefully. Queen g3. There's targets. Black and still castle. Hmm. If I take. I want to sack, but sacking's no good. This is actually a scary position. The king is really, really just naked on g2. And black's going to castle and then build up the center. So the question is what to do. I use the files to attack. Or can I just trade somehow? I'm trying to calculate bishop e3 takes takes d4 takes takes. Probably no good. Hmm. I could just take could take the knight because the knight's going to cause problems later let's take the knight and be solid hopefully man this is really not an easy position though and it's easier for black to play I think so the pawns just start rolling but I'm threatening a trick with knight e4 maybe or maybe not Queen g3. I just have to stop e5 and keep my king safe. Maybe rook f1 tricks. I'll threaten some discoveries. Ah, c2's attacked. I'm thinking about just gambiting it. Like YOLO. I could play rook d2 as well. Let's play rook d2. Position's getting scarier though. Okay, rook f1. Some idea bishop d6 maybe. Hmm. 
I think we're we're both trying to attack on the king side, kind of. Like I have the files, but I also have less shelter. Okay, I'm threatening this probably you no, know, probably bishop d6. No, but bishop d6 is takes. In bishop b5 there's queen g6. Interesting. So f6 is coming, which is kind of terrifying. I'm not sure if I can stop it. I play queen g4. Not what I want to do. There's a cool idea just like king h1, rook g2. I think I'll go for. Just tuck the king away. Safe and sound, threatening mate now. Queen f7, yeah. Okay, so we're both being safe. I'm down on time though. Ooh. To protect my time. Okay, let's build up pressure. I need two. The knight wants to find a happier place. Um, I want a sack. Sacking, sacking doesn't work. I can play this move. And shift the rook back. If e5, I take it. Ooh, I think this works. I'm down on time, but it's close to to level. Let's be fancy. Takes, takes. Okay, they're gonna try and flag me, probably. But I'm, I have an extra knight. I won the crucial e5 pawn, threatening this now to win this pawn. Ooh, then fork. I like forks. Okay. Can I relax? Ooh, there's some tricky... Tricky like rookie one. I mean, I'd, let's still do this. Rookie one should be okay. Queen c3 probably. Okay, so threatening the king. Rook f8, I have knight g4. Knight g4 probably coming regardless. The double discovery, the double fossil. I'm also attacking the rook. And the king can't actually move away from. The diagonal. And d4 only delays the pain. Oh! Did the thing crash? What just happened? Something was flashing. I think it's okay though. Oh no, my queen! Okay. <laughs> that was a, a nice finish. That was a nice finish. That's a cool mate, because the knight controls g7. Whew. <sighs> Okay. Man, something, yeah, chess.com was like flashing me for a moment. Not sure, what, not sure what happened there, but I stayed connected. Internet was clutch. That was a cool game. That was a, a topsy turvy roller coaster game. <sighs> We're only halfway there. Man. Okay. Focus, deep breath, coffee time. Mmm. What is a chameleon opening? Oh, let's accept. Okay, they're they're playing like a London every game. What to play? I'm trying to think. I play D. I'm actually trying to think what to play here. Because knight f3. Let's play this move. Um maybe C I'll play C5. Reverse Queen's Gambit. Trying to prevent a London, because if Bishop here I just take it. We might see c3, unfortunately. And c3 could be a bummer. Ooh, e3. Uh, okay. This is new. I'll, I'll let them take if they want. This is like a, what is this called? Kali, some kind of Kali Zugertort type thing. Ooh, they take, ooh, Gambit accepted. I actually don't know what to, how I proceed here, probably this move. And if c4, I play d4. That's a logical move. Oh, bishop here is coming. 
So we might get a structure bishop b5, e4, knight e4, bishop d7. I've seen the structure before. If I get the chance, I want to win back the pawn. Or do I? I probably do. Okay. So I gambited, but I won the pawn back. So now it's peaceful. Wow, it's a raid. It's another raid from Anachess. Thanks so much, Anachess. Also, shout out to Anachess. Really appreciate it. You're raiding in the middle of the match. If you're just joining, this is chess. I'm playing Botez live. Uh, yeah, let's give a shout out. Really appreciate it. People should really check out Anna Chess on Twitch and on YouTube. Ooh, can I be tricky? There's some Greek gift ideas. Please let me do it. I haven't sacrificed enough so far. Ooh, they're letting me do it. But is it... Wait, is it real? Is it a real gift or a fake gift? I don't know. I don't want to calculate. Let's just do it and hope for the best. I can pre-move this, I guess. Yeah, because if king h1 or king takes h2, it happens. Oh, thanks so much, CD Latremont, gifting a sub to Anachess. Really appreciate that. Um, yeah, again, if you're just joining, this is an adoption match. I have to win 10 in a row. I've won 5 so far. The games have not been easy. And, okay, question is what to do. Probably h5, h4 looks enticing. Yeah, normally, like, there's some queen d6 to g6. It's also queen g5 as a resource. But this looks nice, because h4 is kind of hard to prevent. And the king can't run away. Knight's always controlling h2. This move doesn't help, because I still play h4. Actually really helps when I'm not castled here. Rook is clutch. There's a funny... Ooh! There's g5 mate potential. Oh, but it's not going to happen. I was going to... I was gonna say h4 and then g5 mate, but... So here just h4... Is there a quicker way? Let's play h4, I'll win the queen. Probably take on e3. And then win the queen. Here we go. But how to break through? White has minor pieces. I can play this move. Okay, they're fighting on can't let my guard down. I want to play h3. I need g5. Let's play g5. No mercy. I'm going to attack while I'm up material. Now queen... Queen e5 and then h3 coming. Yeah, forcing the h-file to open. I guess there's g4 here. Okay. What? Okay, that was nice. That was a that was a fun fun little yeah Greek gift. Very typical like opening middle game attack type thing. So they're playing Sicilian. Ooh, I could play a wing gambit. Ooh, does a does a wing gambit work? That has to has to be Andrea playing the openings. Because I, I didn't think Alexandra plays this. Man, what to play here? I could play... Let's play Amora. Let's try and get into Amora again. Because if they take, then, then it's Amora. I'll just keep giving them the option. Please take my pawn. I want to feel like, my, like uh, Mark Esserman. The Mora god. Ah, they're not playing it. But e6? e6 makes me happy. The dark squares are a bit weaker than normal. Can't really punish them yet. I guess e6 was intended to block the bishop. Oh, and play d5. 
I'll play bishop g5. I'm just going to keep leaving the pawn available for capturing. Queen d2. I mean, d f oh, d5 might be restricted. Yeah, let's play queen d2. Also, let's make Anna Chess a VIP. Thanks, Anna Chess. Rating and interacting in the chat. Really appreciate it. Anna Chess. There we go. Okay. Ooh, d5 anyway. I thought this was covered, but... The thing is, I'm already down a pawn, so... This is probably just trading. Whoa, it's another... Oh, it's Photo Chess. Thanks, Photo Chess. Man, so many raids, but I have to, I, I, this is a critical moment. Things are attacked, but other things are also attacked. Someone give a shout out to Photo Chess. Um, I think I'll take, I really don't want to lose a bishop hair. So let's be, let's be calm. Still, <laughs> there's been tension so for so long here between the pawns. Yeah, thanks so much, Maria, Lova Lova, Photo Chess. I'll, I'll be I'll be streaming commentary with Photo Chess tomorrow, um, appearing for the St. Louis Rapid and Blitz coverage. Um, yeah, it should be fun. That'll be tomorrow in like nineteen hours from now. Yeah, thanks again, Maria. If you're just joining, <laughs> if you're just joining, I'm playing a match against the Botez sisters. Um, Having a lot of intense games. Let's take the pawn. I, I couldn't I couldn't deal with all the tension there. Um, the the format of the match, I need to win ten in a row to win the match. I've won six, but I've had some close calls. Okay, let's actually don't know what the strategy is here. This position might call for like preventive play. Like we both have isolated pawns. Uh, let's actually let's trade bishops, because this bishop's probably more effective. We might see takes takes knight f five and then queen f four. Okay. Ooh, the knight is fiend cadoed. Let's defend the pawn even more. Actually, I probably should have the rooks on e1 and c1. <laughs> There's no reason to defend the pawn. Whoa, Photo Chess. Thanks so much, Photo Chess, with a sub. Appreciate that. Love what? Oh, something about love. Oh, Lova Lurk. Oh. Ah, I miss, I miss Bishop a4. Now if I play bishop a4, there's there's b5. I can play knight a4. Ah, how am I down? I'm down 50 seconds. Okay, let's focus threatening this or this. And dark squares are juicy. I like the, um, the presence of the light squared bishops too. Queen d6 was a good move. Expecting b6, knight d3. I'm dreaming of a world where I get this and then this and then mate. Even though that wouldn't be mate, it would be close. I mean, there's always not a five for black. But okay, 95 coming. Probably combined with rook c1. Some idea to like, penetrate the c6 square. We might see f6. Or not? Yeah, let's um, let's go after c6. Most likely rook c8. Yeah, good move. I'll make Luft for the king. Now there's tension between the rooks. Have to stay focused. Some idea knight g4. Probably don't want to play that though. Let's play rook c3. Planning some kind of double up. If takes and I, I control the C file. Hmm. Okay, time is leveling leveling out. That's good. So I was down on time for a while there. 
And bishop e4. wonder if I can play knight g4 here. Actually, let's... Ooh. I want to play knight g4, but then queen f4. It's kind of annoying. I can play g3. But then the bishop is strong. Oh, wait a minute. I can trap the bishop, maybe. F3, g4. It didn't even occur to me. Wow. I had g4 probably earlier, too. So bishop is low on squares. Have to watch out for this move. Ooh. And they play it. But I have this move. Oh, it's getting complicated. If takes, I enter meso check. And then take back, and then there's a pin. And I'd, I would be up a piece there. Okay, here I'm winning everything. Okay. Man. And these games take a lot of, like, mental energy. Alright, seven wins. Let's go. Black again. I think I'll... I, I know what to play this game. Oh, what is this? This is new opening discovery. Let's play h5, maybe. Whoa, it's en Enki Dudorino. Oh, 500 bits. Thanks so much. Really appreciate that. Play d6 here, maybe. Going for some eventual kingside attack. Knight c6. An innovative panda. Solving for eight months. Really appreciate that. Okay, we're, we're having some weird closed Sicilian. Oh, let's sack a piece. Or let's sack uh, the exchange. Yeah. I saw Nerditsky do this against John Bartholomew once. It looked kind of cool. Um, I have to, yeah, I have to keep playing aggressively. I'm kind of scared of knight e5, but there's no time to be scared. Knight e5 could really be a uh, annoying move. Okay, queen d2 is interesting. Bishop g5 ideas. Also queenside castling ideas. Let's develop. It's kind of backfiring. Ooh. This may be really backfiring. This queenside attack is going to be slightly scary. Ah. I could play king d7. I really should not have gone for this. Rook c8, maybe. Honestly, it might be the best approach to play rook c8. Because, yeah, white can't really get away with taking, I don't think. And I'll play rook, or I'll play pawn here. I've lost my, my castling privilege, unfortunately. But I still have d5 privileges. d5 could be really nice. Let's do it. I might be inducing some bishop g5 move. Oh, but then I win a pawn. Okay, takes, takes. It's interesting. Like, I'm down the exchange, but at least in the middle game, minor pieces can be more effective than rooks. Rooks can only come to life later on in the end game. So all I have to do is avoid an endgame. Which might be difficult, but we'll see. And time is close to level. Well, I have this idea too. Knight c3, there's, there's fork potential. But I really have to be careful, because white has open lines. I'm just trying, I'm not sure what to expect here, so I'm trying to just absorb as many ideas as possible. And of course there's this idea, there's this idea too, oh, but not here. Okay, so let's take that. The bishop might move back and we repeat. I've opened one more file for white, but I've won a pawn.
Ooh. Okay, so that move gives me a lot of options. I could take the pawn twice and then get mated. That's probably undesirable. His queen c5 is kind of a cool move. There's some bishop h3 idea. This is a really confusing position. I'm trying to... Okay, I have a little bit of time. I mean, there's so many options. I know bishop h3 is coming. I mean, maybe d4... Actually, there's a funny idea. I'm going to play f6, provoking bishop e3, and then queen g3. Ooh. Allowing rook g1. I was thinking I'm limiting the bishop. But rook g1 could be played. But then I win a pawn. Ooh, I could win connect four. h5 is kind of scary. I have this move. Ooh, rook h3 is a almost a queen tra it is a queen trap or no it's not queen g4 okay let's be careful i have d d4 bishop g1 what is this position let's play d4 let's kind of relieve some tension if rook h3 here, I, oh, I just take it. Oh. Okay, I won connect four. Everything should be okay. I have a nice, juicy e3 square. And bishop b4 ideas. I have a6 ideas. I'm down on time. Hmm. I mean, it's really up to white to figure out what to do here. It seems like some nice domination. The thing is, white is still up material. So I don't want to trade much. Okay, let's put the queen on g4. Some pressure against the rook. It's actually really hard to find a productive plan here for white. Oh, e4 is played. Probably a good move. Let's take once. Takes some bishop before. I can't be moving this slowly. E4 is a really good move. Let's play bishop before first. Knight c3, maybe knight d4. I'm looking for tactics where I win back material, but it's not so simple. Maybe rook d8. And just throw the ball to white. I'm threatening some bishop c4. I mean, there's no bishop e2. The rook is restricted. Queen side down to the bishop. And finally, I'm up on time. That's a nice sign. Ooh, I forgot about the h-pawn. Okay, let's take that. We might see a trade. Hmm. Rosen 2020. Ooh. Hey, that's me. And that's this year. Thanks so much. Chassis Spaghetti, welcome back. Ooh, okay, have to stay focused. And h files open, I have to be very aware of rook h8 ideas. But I have a nice center, nice central knights. I'm just waiting for a3 so I can fork. And thank you, pick your poison. I Ooh, was saving my Twitch Prime to use hey, on your stream, but so I much. accidentally let oh. my paid sub Oops. automatically renew. Oh no, Who do you sub. recommend I use my oh. Prime sub on? Botez! I mean, yeah, show some love. Oh, it's a fork. Yeah. My opponent needs some uh, some healing in the form of a prime sub. Maybe c6. It's a tricky move. 
I could also, maybe I'll just take the rook. And queen a4, c6 takes, I win the bishop. Uh, what to do? Let's play this move. Oh, my time. Wait, okay. I know they're fast too, to be very, very careful here. I just want to play solid moves and quick moves. Defending this, maybe. Oh no, my queen! Da! Don't hurt me. Uh, let's save this first. Thirty five. <sighs> That was... Man, I got comfortable, and then I got low on time, and then I lost my queen. Oh. Man. I can only imagine how bad they feel right now. I don't know whether to feel good or bad about that. Thankfully, that's what Purell is for. Not sponsored, but kills 99.9% .9 of the germs. Ah. <sighs> Feel very dirty after that one. Whew. Okay. But yeah, the final position is just a dead draw off the color bishop ending. I would have oh. been bummed if you did and dirty oh. flagged them at least once. Ah, uh, so that means you're not bummed anymore, right? I don't want to bum anyone. Okay. Eight, eight games. I just have to take it one game at a time. Really one move at a time. Man. Okay. Stay calm. I have to meditate. I have to focus on the breath. Okay. Yeah, they, they're, they're probably going to need to recover after that one. <sighs> what color was I? I was black. So I'll be white next game? Okay, let's, um... I'll play d4 again. Let's play, like, a tricky London line, maybe. Tricky London, let's go. Ooh, let's play, um... The stuff. Yeah. Like, um... I'm trying to think if there's any gambits I can play. It really depends what black plays. Um... I could use the same idea as, as earlier. I'll start with queen d2. Um, but I'll, I'll probably at some point like push... Ooh, h5. Man, they're, they're already stopping my h-pawn advance. They know my plans. Okay, let's castle queen side. Um, I still want to like play in some kind of gambit style. Um, but how do I gambit wisely let's play f3 always play f3 oh always play king b1 too i have to make ben feingold proud yeah okay i got my got my basic structure at some point at some point i'll sack something maybe e5 e5 is not really a sack but it's a trade maybe g4 Ooh, I see six. Hmm. I was about to blunder the pawn on d4. I'm actually wondering if I can get away with that. Let's do it. That looks like a fun gambit, actually. So I'm losing a pawn, but then I play e5, and then after takes, takes, I'm still down a pawn. But I'll, I'll have some initiative. 
There's some traps where I take on b5 and then checkmate on d8. Like, all I need to do is remove this, 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 and this, and then checkmate. Ooh. They don't take the bait. Castling. So, <laughs> the pawn is still hanging. I should probably not lose it. I could move it. I could play d5. Or I could just ignore it. Yeah, let's play bishop here. I'm just going to leave it hanging. Black is free to take it. I just want to mate. I want to get the queen in, get the knight in, remove this knight, and play queen h7. Mm. So they're really against taking the pawn. e5 is probably a, a nice thematic move. Okay, I'll play d5. Winning connect four. I don't know how thrilled I am about this position. I'm going to leave the tension between the bishops. Maybe go for g4 at some point. Mm, good take. When in doubt, on passant. How do, I, how do I crack this position? H4 and then later G4. And if takes, I have some H5 ideas. Am I scared about that? And this pawn is a little bit of a target. Um, this could get really sharp really quickly. I want to play knight g5. Okay, let's take and then play knight g5. And then play g4. And then try and break through. Hey, thanks for subbing. Avery High Tree. Adopt them and be a daddy, I believe. Ooh. We'll see. You can't count your... Wait. I want to say can't count your eggs. You can't count your children before they. I don't know. Okay, let's let's not get distracted. Let's uh, let's focus. Uh, let's not get mated. I think I can take this. Yeah, then bishop c4. Both pawns are hanging, and the king is actually really safe here. Bishop defends a2. Like the main attacking idea for black is a5, a4, b3. Which is a little bit slow. I still have g4 ideas. Oh, there's a cool line. Oh, oh, this is a cool line too. What is this move? It's actually a cool move. Because if it takes, there's rook d8. Okay, so I can take once or I can just leave the tension. I'm kind of inclined to take once. I'll let them enjoy their center, and then move here. If I took again, there's rook d8, and there'd be some annoying pin. Okay, now I'm thinking this move takes, and then this move, and then takes, and then takes, and then takes, and then this, and then this, and then mate. Let's do it. I'll just pre-move this. Man, my time. I'm I'm living in like some fantasy variations where I'm forgetting about my time deficit. But okay, the pressure's on black. If they don't take, I probably play rook d g one. Maybe queen g five. It's a nice little pocket. A sandwich between the pawns. Like queen g five and then knight g three to f five. Let's start with that. Because now the knight is kind of pinned to the other knight. It's hard to remove the queen. I'm actually threatening to take, because both things are pinned. Ooh. Okay, I think I can still take. 
There's takes, and then knight f4 probably. Knight f4 could be really nice. Yeah, threatening the triple fork. The thing is, when you threaten the triple fork, if they move any one of these pieces, it's still a double fork. Oh, also this is a this is a threat too. Yeah, the like everything's working well here for white. Like the bishop, the king is very safe. Oh, it's a quad. Oh, did they play that just for the the beauty? Look at this. Oh, it's so beautiful. It's a royal fork of goodness. Oh, I should take this and frame it on my wall. Oh, it's so nice. I should turn this into like a t-shirt. Knife f4 for the fork. Yeah, more like knife e6. Knife f4 was just a pre-fork. But yeah, knives can also be forks. Or sporks, I don't know. Whoa, okay. That's nine down. Let's not choke. One more. Okay. <sighs> okay. One more. Oh, I'm gonna be black. If they play d4, I play c5. This is gonna be a fun, fun little gambit opening. Okay, I used to play this. I actually used to play this in Over the War Chess. This is a Benoni Dutch. Oh, thank you, Orion Arrow. Um, I got my last I am Norm play, playing this variation in the tournament. It was beautiful. So the okay, it's not really Gambit, but it's just a fun line. Idea to do Benoni things and Dutch things. So the general setup is to get two pawn chains and then see Don't what white check does. On your fork, please. Oh, <laughs> I'll try not to. Have to eat properly and slowly. Oh, h4. h4 is actually kind of a scary move. But is it so scary? I might as well play d6. I mean, they might... They might end up, like, sacking. They might be inspired by my previous sacrifices. Queen d2... Is actually a little bit unsettling. I think I'll play h6 here. If I were to castle, there'd be really scariness. Bishop there, that's a solid move. Let's play knight a6. Okay, really can't let my guard down. It's a weird kind of form of development. Play bishop d7. So I'm allowing this, but I'd be okay with that. Have the b-file. In the meantime, I might want to play b5, like b5, b4, use the diagonal. Or chase the knight away from controlling e4. So it's actually a rich position. Yeah, I can play knight b4 here. So a4 was played to discourage b5, but maybe b5 can still be achieved. Not sure though. I want to play a6, but then a5. I can play b6. Um, let's start with this. Expecting a5, and maybe knight g4. <laughs> it's a strange position. a5, okay. So I'm unleashing the bishop. My knights are on exotic squares. Almost exotic, or almost as exotic as Joe Exotic. Okay, I could castle, actually. Yeah, why not castling? I forgot this battery doesn't even exist, and the pawn's defended twice. And this this bishop's not too terrifying as long as there's a pawn here. Ooh, e4 is an idea. e4 is actually a really strong idea. But probably not, or maybe it is playable. Let's play queen e8. Idea queen f7. I just want to be prepared for the f file opening. Just realize e5 could happen. This is actually kind of scary. And they open the battery too, man. Okay, let's take. So white's getting the e file, I get the f file. Okay. 
it's a very tense position. There's a lot happening. I mean, all the minor pieces on the board. And things are kind of undefended, like B pawn is hanging. Don't think I want to take it. Time is level. Some bishop f5 idea. Also, I should note that white was threatening this with the dirty pin. Okay, let's go for this. Some nice bishops. Sure, the, the peace harmony is actually quite nice here. Like, the pieces make sense, they don't really get in the way of each other. Mmm. Is my knight just hanging? Uh oh. Oh no, my knight's not. Or is it? I have this move. Okay, thankfully I have this move. <laughs> I didn't see that. But if takes, I win the bishop. I lose a pawn, but I think everything's okay. That was a close call. <laughs> I was really lucky. I'm thankful the bishop's not defended. Oh, thank you, Mossjaw. Mossjaw is subbing with Prime. Thanks so much. Okay, that's a wake-up call, like c3. I really have to be careful of danger. I, I imagine they didn't see this move coming. It was just an unexpected resource. If I have the chance, I might play knight e5. I might undevelop and then set up for the, the next game. Oh, but there's not going to be a next game. What is this move? If I take takes? Ooh. Wait. Oh, this that could be a really strong move. Wow, what a move. That's a really strong move. I can play rook d8 maybe. No, I can oh, I can take, but then takes, takes, takes. Man. When the thing's defended. Um, wow. I could take on a5 maybe. I think I should take on a5 and just try and survive maybe? Because I'm attacking the bishop if takes, 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 queen d7, takes, rook takes, d6. Okay, we're going to go into it. I'm going to be down a pawn. But maybe it's okay. So takes queen d7, takes takes d6, king h7. Oh, white, white could win c5 too. <laughs> I might have to resort to dirty flagging. Man, they, they're playing a really good game. Wait, what? Free knight? Oh, there's a d6 rookie Mike seven. Is in the hall of the mountain king. Um, I have to say, focused. Wow, look at this move. It might not be good, but it's confusing. Yeah, finally, made it for a stream. Oh, welcome. I have to take it. This is really scary because d6 and oh, bishop d5 too. But I have queen b6 attacking the rook. This is so terrifying. Really don't know what to make of this. Queen b6. Let's play queen b6. Rook a7. Is my hope. Also, there's also targeting target on uh, f2. Okay. And time is very relevant as well. So g7 is vulnerable, but I think it's defended. I just want to win a pawn, and I want to mate too. Just want two things in life. 
With F2? So the queen can move somewhere, actually. But can it move... So I can take... Wow. What's going on here? I don't see my mate. I'm not seeing it. It's a draw! Oh no! Ah, they drew! Ah. I dirty five them, but it didn't matter. Ah. Oh, what a finish. Ah. I don't know whether to be happy about the dirty flag or sad that it's a draw because insufficient mating material. Even though Fide would declare this a win, I think. <laughs> it's a... Uh, what is it? I don't know. It's, yeah, I, I didn't, wow. They played so well that game. They played so well. Are they, are they celebrating? They're probably celebrating. Wow, what a game. That was crazy. Oh, a Fide Adopt, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it would, it, it would count as a win according to Fide, All but. <sighs> wow, GG's. That was, man, that was heart-wrenching. I think they, they found some really good moves. Like, look at these moves. Like, this whole idea of taking on d6. I mean, it was just a whole mess. I wonder who found this, Alexandra or Andrea or, or both. Oh, I'm still on their, their stream. I, I loaded up their, their stream so we can see... We can see here, wow, it's it's Inception. Wow, can I do this? Can I do this? Wow, look at them. Good job. <laughs> Man. That was, yeah, I hope people enjoy that. I, I hope people enjoy that. Um, this will probably go on YouTube. This will go on their YouTube channel too. People can watch from both perspectives. Oh, she's calling. Oh, join, join call. Hello. Hey, Eric. Thanks hey. so much for the match. You played so well. You guys did too. Yeah, that was, I mean, that was really heart wrenching towards the end. Uh, your last game was amazing. Like you guys found some really nice resources there. It's funny. We actually mouse slipped queen d5, but then it ended up being okay. Queen d5. On move 28. I've been waiting uh, for this. No, queen d5 is such a good move, cause it's tricky at <laughs> least. I, I like I take on f2 and then I can't I can't mate because you're defending everything, and then you always yeah, have queen g8 ideas. That. Yeah, oh, the best move was hard to find. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, Ninety three. I, I saw that we had a, per a perpetual at least, which was nice. Yeah, yeah. No, it's like it's so scary. Uh, like with g7 under pressure. Yeah. And, I, I really wanted to sack my queen, take on g2, and then play knight e3. Wait, where did you want to say on on g2? Oh, so, right after queen takes f2? After queen f2, king h1, queen takes g2, but your rook oh. is covering e3, so yeah. I can't I can't simplify. Wow. Oh. So that was a crazy it was a crazy but game. That was Ben's last game. Yeah. Did, so who who found which one of you found taking on d6? Because that was a really impressive move. 
I think oh. it was move 21. Oh, Bishop takes D6. Or move 20. Oh. Did, it, I, did, I, did I find that? Or wait, no. It was move 19. Bishop no. takes D6 was a really cool resource. No, I don't think so. No, you, I, yeah, I found Bishop takes D6. Didn't... But mm -hmm. Andrea, Andrea the... this was the one where we kept calculating. Like, what happened? Oh, you 100% found this one. Yeah, but Andrea helped me think it through. No, Alex found this one on her own. Uh, I'm sure it was some, some level of teamwork. Yeah, exactly. No, the, the teamwork was helpful. I don't remember Our first anymore. two games were good, and then we started uh, slipping off, and then at least we saved it in the end. I was really scared I was gonna just lose the first game, and that would be the match. <laughs> oh. Yeah, your your funky openings definitely gave us a big advantage. Yeah, I was but trying to be as tricky as possible, them. but some, some gambits you weren't accepting, so it was frustrating, but I tried to make the most of it. Yeah, did you like when we sacked on F2 in that one game and got creative? <laughs> Yeah, I like it. It probably isn't a good move, but somehow it became easier for you to play. Yeah, it, it threw me off because I wanted to be the one like down material and playing aggressively, and then I had to play defensively. Yeah, no, you're really scary when you're playing aggressively. Yeah. Oh, thank you. That one game where we got also a nice fork when you forked all our pieces, all our rooks and queen. I'm used to like just playing dubious gambit, so usually I'm I'm forced to play aggressively. Otherwise, things don't yeah, go so well. Yeah, that's good practice. So it's it's a fun style yeah. for blitz because it's it's more fun just to attack in in faster games. Yeah, no, that's for sure. But well, sometimes are you it backfires. Keep... Yeah, it does. We we should do this again at some point. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um... Yeah, this was a very nice match. No, I I enjoyed it. I hope I hope the fans enjoyed it too. I I think it it attracted some. Some nice viewership, so. I I hope so. Are you gonna keep streaming, by the way? Uh, probably not. I was gonna ask you the same thing because I'd be happy to to send a raid yeah, your way. Yeah, but... I, I think we were about to head off, so we we're gonna. Uh, okay. Cover. Yeah, maybe we can go our separate ways because uh, yeah, I've, I've had a long day, <laughs> so I need, especially need to recover Aww. after this. So this is this is where we must. Thank you say for the goodbye. games, Eric. Thank you, Eric. Yeah. Very thanks, good games. Thanks, Alexandra. Play. Thanks, Andrea. Um. Have have a good night, and yeah, we'll be in touch for you too. another one. Take care. All right, bye, Eric. All right, bye.